All right, man. Eddie Hearn uh, does an interview on boxing scene saying that he couldn't sign Jarrell Miller because he was a stone cold cheat. And basically, Jarrell Miller was begging to sign back with Match Room. And there's a lot of hypocrisy in this interview. Uh, let's talk about it. We back. Good fella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And, um, yeah, you know, you look at the guys that failed drug tests with Eddie Hearn from Kid Galahad that he's obtained. He has signed Luis Ortiz after a failed drug test. People forget he was on match room working with Alexander Povetkin, who failed multiple drug tests two times in one year. I mean, you can keep going and going. Dillian White, he tried to sign Tyson Fury. He signed Billy Joe, who failed the drug test. I mean, he worked with um, he worked with Eric Molina for the uh, Joshua and Ruiz two card in Saudi Arabia. We can keep going on and on and on. And this just shows you, man, when you get in bed with the pilgrim Eddie Hearn, you know what I'm saying, when you a black man or you get in bed with any clear person, you got to watch yourself. But this is what he said. I wish him all the best, said Hearn, managing director for Matchroom Boxing, Joshua, uh, Joshua's promoter. Um, he said he was desperate talking about Jarrell Miller to sign with us. And I linked this article in the description as well. So you can check it out to the drop down box and be an article link. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It didn't feel right. I know. It can be hypocritical at, at times, but this guy failed three, three drug tests for three different supplements or not even supplements he injected in his ass. You know, stone cold cheating and there was no ban, but it's over. It's done. I wish him all the best. You know, I would always shake his hand and smile at him, but I felt like he let me down. He let boxing down. He tried to cheat in the fight against Anthony Joshua, who was a friend and a client. All right. So. That's what, you know, that's one of the clips that he said. And you know what? He entitled to his opinion. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You had Dillian White that tried to cheat. Whether you shot it in your butt or you took a supplement, that's a ban. A banned substance is a banned substance. But you signed several other fighters since then. You work with several other, other fighters who got who popped multiple times. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Whether he put all that shit in his ass at once or he put it in once at a time. You still working with fighters that fail drug tests. And it's, or it could sound hypocritical at times. Well, you told on yourself right there, you was a hypocrite. Just as long as they from the United Kingdom, you're going to show favoritism. And you notice Eddie Hearn, the reason why, like James Tennyson and um, Juno Carroll and, and who was the dude, Luke Keeler. Eddie Hearn is putting this United Kingdom fighters on stages that they'd never get on, you know, with his own money. That, that's what people got to understand. The zone gave Eddie Hearn all that money to come to America in a market that he doesn't understand. And what he's doing is he's taking care of his fighters, his United Kingdom fighters, who, who do not deserve to be on the world stage. None of them. Juno Carroll, James Tennyson, Luke Keeler, they should never been contending for world titles. You know what I'm saying? He giving them opportunity. He putting his people on. But he continues uh, to say this. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it as much as there, there are some great fighters out here, uh, out there for him. The Joshua fight, the Dillian White fight, it didn't send right so to basically encourage this. And that's what they've done by giving him a new contract, a big contract coming off the of, uh, back of a failed test for three substances, but lying on the sand. Uh, I wish Big Baby all the best. Respect to him. God bless. Good night. We'll see you soon. So at the end of the day, Big Baby Miller failed the drug test before he got with you when he was a kickboxer. So you, you once again... You putting your foot in your mouth. Once again, Eddie Hearn, you putting your foot in your mouth. All you do is sign pad offenders. Like I said, I can go down the list again. Billy Joe, Kid Gallic, Dillian White. Uh, um, you tried to sign Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? You working with Pavekin. You working with Eric Merlina this last fight. You keep working with them, bro. And a lot of them dudes failed multiple tests. Dillian White. And you covered it up. It ain't. That's just as bad as what Jarrell Miller did. If To, to me, that's worse. You let Oscar Rivas get into the ring with a guy that had a banned substance in his body. That's what you did. That's worse what Miller did. Now, if Miller went in the ring and fought AJ and hurt AJ with that sitting system, that would have been worse. But you covered it up for, for your fighter. And now you trying to be an advocate for, for, for not signing paid fighters? You signed Miller to a contract. He was working with him. He already failed when he was a kickboxer. You know what I'm saying? So now this dude trying to seem like a a a, 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 ped, 
a paid advocate. Get, get, get out of here. You got more paid offenders on your roster promotional company than anybody else out there. But this is how they do you. And I was saying, the reason I'm saying he put his people on with James Tennyson and, and some of these other dudes that's getting title shots that don't deserve to be on the world stage because at the end of the day, Eddie Hearn is a Brit at heart. He don't care about Devin Haney like that. He don't care about Danny Jacobs like that. He don't care about Jarrell Miller like that. And don't get it messed up. None of these promoters, these clear promoters, care about the brothers like that. Even the, even, even the black promoters and advisors for the most part. Or, you know, and they got some that actually care. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, they don't care about these fighters like that. But you think a clear person like Eddie Hearn really care about Jarrell Miller? Keep it 100. You think he really care about Jarrell Miller? Seriously. You really think he care about Jarrell Miller? No. He don't care about them, them black United States fighters. He hoping some of his United Kingdom fighters come over there and upset him. And did, did, did Jarrell Miller take some money out your pocket? Yeah, man. At the end of the day, it hurt. You know what I'm saying? Big Baby Miller. I ain't the biggest fan of Big Baby Miller. And some of the stuff he said, some of the dry hating he do on Wilder, and some of the things he say. But at the end of the day, he's still a black man. And I can see the inconsistency with this black American man and some of your other fighters. I can see how inconsistent Eddie Hearn is. And it's, it's not fair. Don't sit out here and say, oh, they shouldn't have signed him after this, that, and the third. He get a big contract. Well, you gave him a contract after he failed the drug test. You gave Billy Joe Saunders a contract after he failed the drug test. After he failed the drug test with you and Demetrius Andrade, would almost cost you an event when his zone first started. And you had to replace him with Walter K. Oh, quick, how they forget. Dillian White just failed the drug test for our screens. I don't care if they covered it up or not. You know what I'm saying? You let that fight still go on. So you worse than Big Baby Miller. I mean, like I said before, man, you got to caution before. If you're a black fighter, you got to caution before you take money from some of these clear people, man. Real talk. The money might seem good. It might relax you. It might be like sleeping on a, on a purple mattress. It might be like sleeping on a cloud. But eventually, it's going to hit turbulence. And when stuff hit the fan, you know what I'm saying, most of these clear promoters ain't got your back. You know what I'm saying? He dropped Miller like a bad habit. He stood by Dillian White. And said, well, they're going to get it together. But like I, like I said before, man, you got to watch this dude, man. His dad already admitted to being a, a, a slave trader. All money ain't good money. You know, he told you right in the article, he said, when I see Miller, I smile and shake his hand. That's dirty. Don't shake my hand, bro. Now, if it was one thing, if he had other dudes, Eddie Hearn had other pet offenders that he was dealing with. And he got rid of them. He cut ties and like, oh, I can't work with you. Up oh, and nah, we can't do no, we can't do work with you, man. Nah, you got a messed up history, man. I don't want to put my fighter through that. Oh, Dillian White, you out of here, man. I can't work with you no more. You know what I'm saying? Billy Joe, I, I can't do nothing for you, man. I can't do go house party. I can't do nothing for you, man. I can't work with you. Now, if he had a consistent track record on that, you know, then I'd be like, and he did Miller like that, I'd be like, cool, I get it. It ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? And people say, well, you know, you, you guys always bringing up the race car because we can't. Black people can. Because time and time again, it's been shown inconsistencies versus us. And white people want to say, oh, it's racist. Shut up. Shut up. Most privileged people on the planet, we the most, we don't get no privileges as black people. So when people come in here and play that, play that, oh, you guys are just shut up. Just shut up. We posed a we posed a uh, we posed a forgive and forget. We've been doing that for since we got to this country. And I've seen snakes and, and pilgrims like Eddie Hearn from a mile away. From a mile away. And for Jarrell Miller to see Eddie Hearn, and they was just at an event late last year or whenever it was, and he ran into Eddie Hearn when he smacked the water out the dude's hand, and Jarrell Miller trying to shack up with Eddie Hearn and and be cool with Eddie Hearn, man. Man, no, ain't no business of shaking my hand. Just walk right by Eddie Hearn, bro. How you dragging your name through the mud? And I said, it's one thing. It's one thing if he tried his, he treated his other fighters like this. Whether he injected it in his butt, whether he rubbed it on his elbow, whether he took a something. Cheating is cheating. You got, you got multiple drug cheats on your team. Multiple. Multiple. And I believe him when he said Jarrell Miller really wanted to sign back to them. I believe him when he said Jarrell Miller, Big Baby Miller, was begging to get back to them. I believe him. You see how Miller was all, you know, when he ran to Eddie Hearn, I think he ran his name through the mud. 
how he was all act like nothing happened. Like I said before, man, you know, this money, this money, this money, it changed a, a, a brother's skin color. It had changed your brother mentality. It changed big baby mentality. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, he's sitting there, you know, humble, want to shack up back with Eddie Hearn. He already got two white men milking him, Greg Cohen and Demetrius Sautier. Now he's adding Bob Aram. You know what I'm saying? Now he's adding Bob Aram. And then he had Eddie Hearn before that. And for me, for me, it's unfortunate. You know, to see a, a black brother, where he's from Brooklyn, New York, you know, Belize descent, sitting here begging the other for another chance. Eddie, give me one more chance. <laughs> Come on, man. You're making a fool of yourself, bro. You want to go back to fighting in ballrooms in Kansas? You know what I'm saying? But them zone checks was good, probably. Zone fights versus what? Walk and, 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 and easy fights of that nature. And I feel them on that. If the money right, you know, it'll turn a lot of dudes from, you know, the uh, the most black righteous person out there to, you know, to, you know, really willing to, you know, you know, bend down and, and do what Eddie Hearn say. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to putting food on your table, there's difference between two, three, four, five million a fight or in a contract. That's a lot of money. But at some point, you got to have self-dignity. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, uh, it's kind of like Family Matters with Steve Urkel and um, and Lara. Where Lara just kept dissing Steve and, and, and Steve just kept getting turned on by Lara. He kept trying to pursue her and love her and stuff of that nature. This is what that is. Eddie keep dissing, not even sneak dissing. Like It's like blatant, blatantly dissing Jarrell Miller. Dragging his name through the mud, unlike he did some of his fighters that failed tests. Billy Joe, Dillian White defended him. Kid Galahad, you keep going on and on. How he defended, you know, ain't said nothing about Pavekin. Keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. And, and he keep dissing Miller, and Miller just keeps getting turned on. Miller love Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? He, he loved Eddie Hearn like a father. You know, but at some point, you a, you a man. And at some point when a man keeps dragging your name through the mud, just like that dude, you know, in the interview disrespected you and you slapped that water out of his hand, that cup of ice out of his hand and said, don't be disrespectful. Why you didn't do that to Eddie Hearn? That's the first thing you should have did to Eddie Hearn. You should have grabbed him by his collar like, bro, don't be running my name through the mud and you ain't running them English muffins name through the mud. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn going to have his day. He going to go back to the UK. The zone going to wake up one day. If they ain't already waked up, woke up, and they gonna figure out that he don't know what he's doing, they could hire me and I could do a better job than Eddie Hearn doing. They could hire me and I could have gave him a better template on how to run his own. It's not that hard. You trying to snatch other people's fighters when you could have just galvanized boxing. You could have you could have just worked with every promoter to make big fights. Say, look here, man, I got I got I got. You could take. 25% of what you pay Canelo and make Crawford Earl Spence happen, and you could have got a whole bunch of fans. You could have put PBC fights on there. You could have put top rank fights on there. You could have had a library of fights on there, a lot more exclusive content. But, hey, they, they listen to Eddie Hearn, don't know what they're doing. I'll link that article in the description under the article link. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, that link's in the description. Cash out, PayPal, best way to donate is share the video. And uh, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING, 18% off the 100% all the organic products. Check them out. Website, promo code description, one time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV. Share the videos. Let me know what you guys think about the video. We gone.